quick. Go. Alright, my bad. I was just confused. Is it play? Is it playing? Are you not playing? It's. I'm listening to it. Why? You know how to play it. It's, yeah, is it the one it. off Abbey Road, or is it a different version? Oh, I, I, it just it was it just played <laughs> next. Oh. So from Let It Be, it just was like, oh, if you want to listen to Beatles here, I didn't I didn't select it. Ah. So, but I we've can... been doing the one off of Abbey Road to so the original. Okay. It comes. With yeah. The... So this looks like the Abbey. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. It was remastered, two thousand nine. All right. It was so fast. Like, ready, Bubba? You ready? Yeah. Here you go.
So, first off, if you play that floor tom thing the way that you were playing the crash groove, it's going to sound really good. What I mean by that is you had this like heavy hit, soft hit, heavy hit, soft hit. So, I was hearing kind of this. It's going to sound so much better if you can. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like Bump. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah. I need mean, like, this accent, like. Good, good, you should. But that's what I'm saying. So you are doing that correct, and that's good. I want to go more than that. Rather than A, I want A plus. So if you can also, when you're not using your bass drum, if you go a little bit lighter, da da do da do da do, and really you're you're pushing the pulse. And still keeping the subdivision in there, but the more contrast there is, that'll sound better, okay? So that's not like a, a bad thing that you were doing. I think you were doing it fine, but I think it'll sound even better if you do it that way, okay? Um, then the other one I want to talk about is, so I want to talk about just the, the flurry of fills that comes at, at the end there. Just every every four to eight bars just, just fills all over the place. So um, it felt to me like you had one fill that was comfortable. Everything else was improvised, and it was kind of choppy and jerky like you were just kind of coming up with it right now and you weren't sure whether you were going to land it or not so my suggestion would be probably to have because there are so many i would say at least two maybe four maybe upwards of four fills that are just really comfortable that you can kind of fall back on you can flex a little bit here and there you know if you want to have like one wicked fill that you want to pull out in the middle of it that would be kind of fun because all the rest of them, and the wicked ones, like right? So all the rest of them are just kind of low. They're just eighth notes. Even just using quarters, da, boom, ba, ba, right? Just all these like real light, real kind of easy going. They don't have to. I liked. You did one that was kind of syncopated, and I was like, oh, that's cool. But then you got on this, like, syncopated kick where it was like, do ga um ah do ga da um And I'm like, woo, 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 woo. So it was kind of rocking the boat a bit. So you don't have to be too syncopated with it. Um, a little bit. But again, we don't want to over-season. Have you ever had anything that had too much salt on it? Salt's great. Yep. It's great. We put it on fries. We put it on all of our stuff or whatever. But if you've ever had something over salted it no. just ugh, it's Actually, gross i've tried to over salt something and it still tastes good like well i over salted my fry they were just they were basically white it still tastes good well i don't know <laughs> dad doesn't like salt he's a snail snails hate salt right? no you don't actually pour any salt on your food bubba we don't let the top off i poured salt on my eggs and it's oh good yeah I mean, if you're if you're taking a shaker that's only letting a little bit out, even if you're going, ch -ch 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 -ch, that's the that's why the shaker lid is like that, so that you don't accidentally put on too much. So because when you put on too much, it's really gross. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Over salted you can, tuna. Yeah. Well, anything. Over salted anything. Anything. Ice cream. Yes. <laughs> Especially <laughs> ice cream. Any salt in the ice cream, not so good. <laughs> but I like it. um, so I want to teach restraint. Okay, and what I mean by that is that even because even though you can play these really big crazy fills, it's important to remember that they're not always the best. Pull out like one or two. Again, if you're doing stuff that's really simple and just wants one wicked fill in the middle of it, and then you go back to playing really simple stuff. And then everybody's just still sitting there like. I'll be laughing. You'll see it. Oh, actually, I won't be at that show, unfortunately. But you'll see it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see it in the recording later. You know. And you will just so see it yeah, it's it, it. That's in fact that was why that double bass thing that you hit me with in the last song. That was why that got me so good. Because was because you were just do da do da do super simple and then ra do da do and it just it was like it just hit me in the face all of a sudden. But that's that's cool. That's a good thing to do. Just a little like, ha, gotcha. And then you go back to being really simple. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah just like that. Okay? So, um, but yeah, we just don't, when it starts getting too crazy, 
You know, you just, it's like, oh my goodness, enough, please, just play the song. So, I don't, I don't want that for you, okay? Is that your fingers good? No, his mouth, he made noise at the same oh, time. okay. I thought I was like, it's like, oh! I was pulling these three fingers out. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. I, I did the same thing, but I saw his head. mouth. The we so, Bubba, stop. Not baseball. Yeah. It's, it's a good stretch. You know why? What, what is it stretching? This. Which muscle group? What is it stretching? Can you feel it? When you push back like that, what? It starts where, with, what am I doing it? here? It hurts here. What am I doing here when I do this? You're flexing. So what kind of, mu what see. muscles, what muscles are you flexing when you flex? Basics. When you do this. No. The, that, what are those? That, triceps. No. Tricep oh, is underneath your... Triceps are here. Oh. Your quads oh, are down here and your legs. Are here. Quads are here. Hamstrings are here. I gave you a big hint of what it's called when you you flex. Tricep? Quadricep? Key word is flex. Flexicep? <laughs> Flexicep? <laughs> that's, well, that's what it is 